Hi guys, my name is Chris Old from Chris Old Photography. Today I'm bringing you a new tutorial that shows you something you can do with an old projector you might have lying around. So this tutorial is going to be a bit of a two-part tutorial. We're going to shoot an image and then we're going to actually project that image on our model. So to start with, I've got a PixiPro City 600 Studio Strobe here and I've got to fit it with a reflector and I've got a pink gel. Now what I'm going to do is take a long exposure, about a second long, at f22. I'm going to wave my camera all over the place to get an image of the front of this light. Now what that's going to do is give us a quite a few different abstract images we can then use to project on the model. So the reason I'm not putting the gel all the way across is because all I would get would be a big pink blob basically. But by leaving a little bit of space for that white modeling lamp to come through means I'm going to get a couple of different colours in there and I'll actually use them to, wait, to get an idea on where to place my model. So we've captured our images, we've turned off all the lights, we've set the projector up now and we're projecting onto a black background. Now as you can see, we've, we've used loads of different types of backgrounds, loads of different shots we've taken. But now it's a case of going to be matching stuff on model up into the frame and making sure it fits right. So we're going to get a little bit of moving in there, just to make sure the white hits the face in the right place and just try and get some pretty different and dynamic shapes and dynamic images too. So we're all set up now, we've got the images loaded in the projector, so I'm going to change around a little bit while we're shooting with Stephanie here. But what we're going to do, we're going to project them at about a 45 degree angle across the background, because what we don't want to do is hit the background with this light. We still want the background to go to a deep black, so the projections are going to come across, hit Steph, and then fade off into the background. But we're going to change them around, move around a little bit, and get some really different images. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be shooting on manual mode. I know I don't want my shutter speed to be any less than 1 50th of a second, because I'll start to get a little bit of movement in there, with my hand movement and things like that. And I'm going to be shooting way down at 1.8, so I need to let as much light into the frame as I possibly can. It is dark in here, we're going to turn off all the lights when we shoot, so it means I'm going to have to have a wide open aperture. My ISO is sitting at around 1250, so I might change that and just underexpose a little bit by dropping the ISO down or overexpose it if need be, depending on where the light's going to fall from the projection. So there you have it guys, a very simple technique you can use if you've got no projector lying around. So literally the whole process from start to finish took me about 20 seconds to shoot the first images and probably two or three minutes to shoot the second set of images with Steph with the model in the frame. So because we had loads of different shots we took on that initial first setup and then we could just press the button along, change the background image and get a totally different shot. So we could have literally shot thousand different shots there just by changing the angle of the projector, the position of the projector and which image we were using. So just a bit of food for thought on what you can achieve with a very simple setup in mind. So thanks for watching guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like and let me know if there's any other setups you would like to see going forward. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.